Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch. So in this video, we'll discuss some of the basics about the Essential Grid plugin. After you've gone ahead and installed and activated the plugin, toward the bottom left in the WordPress main menu, if you click Essential Grid, you'll get to the plugin's main menu page. And here we can create a new Essential Grid, and this can be based on a few different sources. We can pull in content from our posts. Essential Grid also includes a custom post type in case you want to set up posts specifically for grids that aren't based maybe from posts from your blog. And we can also set up a grid that just pulls images from the media library. So let's cover all of those options. So first thing, let's just review some of the posts that we have set up here. I've got six posts and each one has a featured image assigned and a title and I've also got a category assigned and some tags assigned. Now when using a post-based grid, the post itself, whether it's a regular post from your blog or an essential grid post, it has to have at least one category or one tag assigned. And the reason for this is because that's how we tell the grid what posts to pull in. So let's go ahead and do that. From the Essential Grid Overview, if we create a new Essential Grid, we can give it a title of My Grid and an alias of My Grid. The alias should generally not have any spaces or special characters, but dashes and underscores are okay. So then if we click Source, you can see that we have a few different options. And the first is Posts, Pages, or Custom Posts. So that would be uh, maybe blog posts. Maybe we want to pull in content from pages or possibly custom posts, which would be essential grid posts, or maybe another custom post type that you have installed for your theme. And the other option is a custom grid. And if we choose custom grid, then we can choose items from the media gallery. So our grid will just be based on manual items that we select from this gallery as opposed to posts central grid posts or pages. So after we've chosen the source, if we choose post, we can choose a type and category. And the options are post page or essential grid posts. So we can just leave it at post for now. And you can see that it's giving me a list of all the categories and tags that I have assigned for my blog posts. And if you want to review these categories and tags, they'll also be listed right here, categories and tags. And if you remember, our posts had some categories and tags assigned. Now they don't need to have both categories and tags, but they need to have at least one category or one tag or a combination of both in order to be used as the post category source. So let's just go ahead and select both Category A, Category B, and Tag 1 and Tag 2. Next, if you scroll down to where it says Media Source, this is what will be used as the grid item's main media item. So if we scroll down here, we see that there's an image, and this is the post's featured image. But we could also set it to be a YouTube video, an HTML5 video, or even the first content image from the post. So right now we'll just leave it at Featured Image. And then let's go ahead and click Save Grid. And that will officially create our new grid. So here you see it listed as My Grid. And this is the shortcode. So if we go ahead and copy that shortcode, then we can go ahead and add it to a new page. 
And then we can test the grid on the front end of our site. So here you can see we have our grid of six posts. Now the grid items are kind of small. And because we have six, maybe we want to have two rows of three. So let's head back to our essential grid settings for my grid. And then in the grid settings, we can change this number here, desktop large, to 3. And change these number 4s to 3 as well. Then save the grid. And if we refresh the page, now we have two rows of 3. So let's say we want these grid items to be spaced out a little bit with some white space. If we head back to Essential Grid Settings, we can add some item spacing. And now let's see how that looks. There we go. So when you hover your mouse over one of the grid items, the default skin is Washington. And the Washington skin has the post title and also has a light box button and also has a button that will link to the actual post. But we can change this skin so it looks a little different and possibly has some different buttons. So if we head back to Essential Grid and click Skins, if you scroll down and then just hover your mouse over the different options. You'll see there are a lot of different options to choose from. And if you want to see live examples of these in the live demo that you viewed before you purchased the plugin, you'll find all of these examples under Usage Examples. And there are some really great looking grids for each of these different skins. So you'll see there are five pages of skins that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and choose George Bush and we can do that by selecting this blue area here and then after making any changes save the grid and then let's see how that looks on the front end of our site. Well you see that our excerpt is a little bit too large so let's go ahead and create three rows of two and see how that looks. Back to grid settings. Change this three to two. Refresh the page. Now that looks much better. So here you can see that we have the title of the post and hovering it over we get this solid background color and then we have a snippet from our excerpt and the excerpt is taken right from the post content which is right here so let's say that you wanted to create a grid that wasn't based on posts and instead was based on images chosen from the WordPress media dialog we can go ahead and do that too. The first thing to do would be to select source and then instead of post pages and custom posts we can select custom grid. And once custom grid is selected in order to save this we need to have at least one custom grid item. So if we scroll down and we click add items images, if we click the bulk button, we can choose several images at once and add them all as items to our custom grid. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and click Choose Images. And here you see that we have six items. Now the title is automatically going to be taken from the image file name. So obviously Ken Burns 1.jpg is not a great title for our grid item. But we can go ahead and edit the title as well as the excerpt. And to do that, if you click this green icon here, Edit Element, you can see the title here can be set. And then there's also a spot for the excerpt. And if we click Save Changes, now we can see the title and the excerpt showing up in the grid item itself. And you can see after updating each grid item, the grid will automatically refresh. But in order to officially save it, we have to go ahead and click Save Grid. And now if we test it on the front end, we can see that it's saved to the front end. So there are some other options if we click Edit Element here. We could add a post link. So because we're using a custom grid and not posts for our grid items, there's technically no post to link to. So this is where we would enter a link if we wanted the grid item to link to some particular post or maybe another website. And we could also add some filters that could be used for the navigation. And a really cool option is you can even choose a specific skin other than the one that we chose, which was George Bush, if you wanted to just apply a specific skin to this grid item only. So there are a whole bunch of different options, and you could choose, let's say, Washington just for this particular grid item. And here you can see our first grid item has the Washington skin applied and the second grid item has the default skin which is George Bush. Okay, so that's the basics of Essential Grid. And stay tuned for additional videos where we'll explore the plugin some more. Thanks for watching.